Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 11th, 2023. Well, let's take a peek um, what's happening in the overnight markets. First off, we had Asian markets that were down early on the day with some data that said deflationary pressures are continuing and demand destruction happening, but they ended up reversing before the close. We ended up with um, uh, the Nikkei being up 1.5%. Uh, there was a lot of betting over there that the uh, Bank of Japan is done raising rates. And then the worst of the day was uh, Hong Kong down 0.80% um, at the close. So everything else turned out to be just slightly higher. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are mostly lower this morning. Not terribly lower, just feeling a little bit of bearish pressure. And then of course, we've got a little bit of bearish pressure here this morning with the NASDAQ suffering the worst at the moment. Oil is also lower this morning, and that's even as the U.S. is extending their repurchase of strategic oil. So kind of keep an eye on that one. We've got that demand destruction maybe having some negative effects there on oil. Let's take a look at our bonds this morning. Bonds are just ticking a little bit higher, probably a little bit of... Uh, uncertainty as we head toward a FOMC meeting this week. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's try and shake off a little bit of bias in here and just decide how are we going to um, address this market on this Monday as we move closer and closer to Christmas. Well, first off, let's take a look. As you can see here, we've been in a nice little resting consolidation in this chart. As a matter of fact, if I were to um, uh, draw a little box around this, it is a nice tight little consolidation. So there's every reason to believe with the bullish energy that we have here in the market that we could continue to find um, uh, data here that pushes us to the upside. So watch that carefully. If we push up here to this upside, just kind of keep in mind this next resistance I have in the chart is over here. It was in 21, um, at 21 and 22, these little highs across here. We had tried right there and tried right there and tried right there. And that'll be the next level. And then the level beyond that would be the um, all time highs for uh, the diamonds if we can push on through. So there again, if we can find that bullish inspiration pushing up into here, um, if that breaks, then that possibility we move up into here. If those bears were to find some inspiration, let's look for a test of this little support down in here first, pushing down into this area, and then of course, down to this next level of support in the chart. And that support does run over here into that 2022 area, as you can see, uh, these little high points right here. And if that were to fail, then you can see the next level down. We're looking at some support that comes all the way back into the, that 2022 and across here in 2023 as well. So looking for that support would be maybe a breakthrough here, break down into here, and then a little bit bigger push would break us down into this level perhaps. And you'll notice that there is that longer term trend in there also that could be um, something that holds us as support in the diamonds. Now, if we take a quick look at our moving averages, one thing you want to recognize, our 50-day moving average is starting to come up, but my goodness, we are so separated away from our moving averages here. Um, we're bound to bound to come back and test them here eventually. So just watch that carefully. And if we don't come back to test them, expect a longer consolidation um, as they catch up here in the market. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. 
made a nice little move there on Friday, just barely ticking through that resistance in the chart. There's that longer term trend that we've been struggling with. We've been banging our head against this resistance, but they just barely tick through. And you can see they're trying this morning to hang in there, even though they've got a little bit of bearishness showing up. So if if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration here, well, let's look for this area here to break and we'll push that uh, trend out of the way and push right on up here into this resistance of the chart, which if I back this up over here, you can see it runs across these lows right through here in the chart. Breaking through there, I would suggest that we're going to move on up and we'll test these high points in 21 or 22 in the chart to see if we can pop into that level. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, I'm gonna to suggest a pullback that could bring us back into this little support area here of the chart. So if those bears were to get going, then a push down into here wouldn't seem all that unrealistic. And if that were to break, then I would suggest back into here test the lows of that little consolidating move in the chart breaking down through there it does get a little bit serious and um, i doubt that we could do that today unless we had some really bad data but we've got little levels of support and resistance here in the chart taking a look at our moving averages our 50-day moving average is coming up as you can see here but we are still very very separated here in our moving averages so either a longer term consolidation or some kind of a protracted pullback could not be out of the question. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ has been really struggling in here, banging its head against this resistance in the chart. Now, you'll notice up here in the QQQ, we're testing right now this underneath side of these um, um, areas here in 21 and 22. We're trying to challenge that area and we're struggling with it here just a little bit. And if we can continue to push through, if that push, we had a nice push on Friday to retest that resistance, but if we can push on through, then that next level above, as you can see right over here, and that's going to be up here testing the top side of those areas of resistance to see whether or not we can punch on through. And then of course, beyond that's the all-time highs. We'll see how that goes if we can push on through there. If the bears find that inspiration here today, then a pushback and maybe a little pushback right in here. Notice there's a little bit of price support right there. So we might push back into there and that could be the holding place um, in the QQQ. If they were to push on through there, however, I think a good chance we could come down into here. Falling below that, might be a little bit painful and probably unrealistic in a single day unless something really major were to occur but you'll notice that we have this big gap here in the chart below that that certainly has that possibility we could end up filling that area of the chart um, maybe sometime this week. We'll see if the bears were to get going. Um, then let's take a look at our moving averages here in the NASDAQ. They're catching up here uh, a lot better in the chart. And you'll notice overall that we are still stretched away, we, but we have rested here now for a good month in QQQ, kind of easing up on that pressure here on this. So this is catching up looking a little bit better than the other indexes. Then if we take a look at our Russell, IWM. IWM also had a pretty good day on Friday pushing up, but you'll notice we came just short of pushing through that resistance or retesting it. This is a pretty substantial resistance in the chart. We've been running up in this sharper upside trend. We'll see if we can find that inspiration here today to push on through that area. This big area price resistance um, could be substantial enough to hold us lower, but if we do break through here, then I'm looking for this next level above. So keep an eye on that. If we can push on through here, then look for that test up in that area of the chart. There's also that possibility, remember, we spend an awful lot of time going sideways in the market as well. So don't be too surprised if we're kind of in a range here in IWM and we could end up continuing to kind of 
dance around in here sideways to come out here to this bigger trend. But if the bears were to really get going here and find some inspiration, then a push back down to test this area price support would seem very likely. And if that were to break, then likely coming down into this price support area of the chart. It doesn't mean we fall all the way through there. It could mean that we're just going to come back and rest and that might set up the next upside opportunity, but we'll have to wait and see later on for that. Now our moving average here on IWM, we're up here uh, breaking through that 500 day moving average level. Notice that we're backwards here on our moving averages still. We've got our 50, our 200 and our 500 day. So a lot of work needs to be done here before IWM really catches up with the market. And we do run that bigger risk in IWM. Notice that we've got this uh, kind of a flat downtrending area here in the chart. We could rally into this and then just keep moving on lower. So just keep a close eye on that. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX on Friday, we decided we got no fear in this market, none whatsoever. And we dropped right back down here where we ended up closing below um, this 12 point, well, it's right at 12.35 handles in there. Now, keeping in mind, the next level lower is substantially lower uh, down here uh, in the 11s, um, 11 and a half area, and we'll be testing some very extreme um, levels here in the market of complacency um, and I think we are very very complacent right now considering um, the overall condition of the consumer but that being said if the if the bulls continue to find that inspiration that's our next level down into here down around 11 and a half area of the VIX. If the bulls find or bears find inspiration, then we'd look for that push back up here to see if we can test this resistance up here again, though we've tested a couple of times here recently. So watch that carefully if those bears were to crank it up here. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 ended up finishing the day right back up here in our bearish reversal zone. So we have been relentless in this market, banging our head up in here. Um, we get a little teeny tiny relief to the pull on um, the pullback and then we rush right back in. You'll want to watch this carefully up here. We're at 93.95%. That doesn't mean we can't go higher the other day we were up here at 99 so every reason to believe if those bulls find inspiration that we could push right on up in through here they don't have a big area to move but um, certainly could push a little bit higher and then if those bears were to find inspiration well one of the things we have to keep in mind is just how much downside chance there would be so it would be my suggestion if you're long the market raise those stops up, start uh, protecting your profits, and maybe even start reducing your um, your uh, upside potential here and start waiting uh, for those clues of the reversal back down. Then let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108 did tick a little bit higher on Friday. Finally, it struggled and struggled on Friday moving up because it really was a very select few stocks that moved the market higher on Friday. So um, as we pushed up here, um, pushed up here to just about 70, remember anything up here between the 70, 75, um, up around 80 is very, very frothy in the market and we rarely can sustain that. And then we start some kind of a consolidation or a pullback. So keep an eye on T2108. Still got to give this to the bulls, but we're reaching that point where we, we just realize the market won't go straight up forever. If we take a look at uh, T2107, T2107 also tried to keep the party going there on Friday, pushing up right above the 50% area here on T2107. Now remember, this is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day. So we're pushing up here. Notice when we start getting up in here in these 60 areas, we're really in that frothy overbought area. But 
the Bulls are in control here. There's no doubt about that. We'll want to keep an eye on this. There's every reason to believe that could move higher. But we do want to think about the fact that we have so extended this rally that any point in time, the Bears could start coming back and making a little bit of an effort here. Not saying it's going to happen today, um, but watch carefully for that possibility. Bulls are still in control. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now our T21 is showing us that problem. And T21 is showing us that as we continue to try and extend higher, that our breadth has been coming down. And what this is, again, I think this is in a large part, we're moving into that blackout period where corporate buybacks have to stop. Now it's kind of a um, a slow moving progression into the blackout period, but we're seeing that momentum drop. We're also probably seeing a little bit of concern from the overall market that we're so extended in the short term run that a little bit of rest or pullback is on the way, and we're seeing folks kind of lighten up here just a little bit. So watch that carefully. Um, if that breadth, if we continue to extend to the upside and that breadth continues to sink, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that pullback back in the market. If the bears were to engage and we see that breadth increasing, that's not a good thing because we see we would see those bears starting to gain that um, confidence that they can push a little farther to the downside. So watch that carefully here in T2101. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we want to be paying attention to. First off, pretty light day on um, on Monday here as you can see we've got some bond auctions to be thinking about and that's about it the 10-year auction might be something interesting today um, as we move forward into an FOMC as you can see here on Tuesday we're going to begin the FOMC meeting we've got small business optimism report we've got a CPI number coming out we'll want to be keeping an eye on that obviously CPI very important number. It could be very bullish. It could be bearish. Um, who knows, but we'll likely get a market reaction out of that. We've got a 30-year bond auction coming in here and our treasury statement on Tuesday. On uh, Wednesday is going to be our big day here. We're going to get mortgage applications. We're going to get a PPI report, Atlanta Business Fed expectations. We've got petroleum status in here that will be coming. And then, of course, Course, Jerome Powell and his buddies over there at the FOMC will be um, giving us their decision on rates and then probably the most important is going to be the conference call. I think I, I don't think there's too much chance they're going to raise rates but I think there's a pretty good chance we're going to hear the Fed talk tough. Um, because this rally in the market is probably giving them con some concern about reigniting the inflation. Then let's take a look. We've got jobless claims, retail sales, import export prices, business inventories, natural gas, Empire State Manufacturing, Industrial Production, and PMI. So we've got a busy week of data here um, that could move us around substantially. Make sure you're keeping a close eye on that. If there's any chance for the bulls to continue to really um, uh, stretch to the upside on um, on probably lower than expected volume it's today if they can keep pushing because we just don't have a whole lot of data to go on then if we take a look at our earnings calendar our earnings calendar is also quite light i've only got three notables here for today Casey's General Stores will be reporting. It looks like they're trying to pop up here in the pre-market. Clearly a little double top up here, um, feeling a little bit of pressure in the market after such an extreme, you know, beautiful upside uh, trend in this chart. Watch that carefully. We've got F cell that will be reporting today, um, dealing with a little bit of resistance, trying to come up out of this bottoming pattern here in F cell. We'll see if that um, earnings report can do that for us. And then probably the most notable here of the day is going to be Oracle. 
Oracle's been struggling in here. I did have a price alert here. I was looking for this to move on higher, but just couldn't hold that big stretch to the upside. And we did push lower. So now we run that risk. If this has an earnings report that isn't suitable, notice this rally back. If that were to fail in here, then that creates that downtrend. If it is a good report and we can break back above that support, then watch for that next lower high and we're starting an uptrend here in Oracle. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Clicking that thumbs up button and leaving a brief comment if you feel like the video was worthy of that certainly helps a lot. It's the engagement with the video that makes a difference. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, I, I, I want to um, also say a huge thank you to those folks who share these videos out on their social media feed and also to those who continue to click that buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much. You guys are truly awesome. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. They're um, it's extremely important that you do your own due diligence, that you focus in carefully on your risk tolerance and your rules of trading. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at a few things in here. One of the things I've been uh, watching kind of closely is the defensive sector stocks and this this kind of odd situation where we have seen gold be really, really strong to the upside up here testing a, a very rare quadruple topping area here in the chart. But um, we also seem as we we seem to be having this extreme confidence to the upside there's another part of the market that's saying well not so confident because we're seeing defensive sector stocks gold silver and other commodities um, um, showing some strength gold is one of those defensive plays now the good news for the bulls in the market is gold is easing up and it's really going to depend on how the dollar continues to uh, progress here. Notice that the dollar has started to make this little upside trend and we got a little tiny bit of bearishness, or excuse me, bullishness coming into the dollar here this morning, trying to push just a little bit higher. So keep an eye on the US dollar. There may be that attempt to push back up here and retest this resistance in the chart. That could have some negative impacts on gold and silver. Now, that being said, when we take a look at other areas of the market in that defensive sector, there's a a lot of good charts. Take a look at Coca-Cola. It's been resting in this pattern. We want to, we would want to watch in here for that next opportunity for that to push on higher. If we take a look at stocks like Altria, pulled back pretty hard here just recently, but we're resting in here on a support level. Keep an eye on that. That trend still has that possibility that it could grab a hold. We could push on through to the upside. 3M has been really strong here, pushing up heavily into this resistance level of the chart. Maybe a little rest or pullback is due on this chart, but watch that carefully. If that does rest over here and break through that resistance, that would be a huge resistance to break. Notice this big downtrend breaking, and we would look for more upside in that if they can continue to push on through. And that's just some of the very few. We've got chlor I mean, uh, Colgate Palm Olive that's pulled back to some support after breaking strongly high if this holds this major support in here, then there may be some more upside opportunity. We've seen um, stocks like CLX making that move. Nice little resting consolidation in here, um, trying to deal with some of this congestion area. Keep an eye on that if that finds that energy to pop on through to the upside. Other places that you might want to look, take a look at um, stocks like PayPal. PayPal resting. This is a very choppy consolidation consolidation in here right now. Perhaps it'll settle down here soon, but watch that close. We had that same situation over here in the chart. We may be running this 
close to the same length over here but watch that carefully if that finds that energy to pop on out uh, paypal has been beaten way down here in the market if it slips out from underneath this downtrend and starts moving on higher i'd keep an eye on that you might also want to keep an eye on sq now sq has been running in a straight up very parabolic type move i would look for some kind of a rest or pullback but if you'll notice here in this chart we've been breaking through areas in this chart of resistance showing that strength so there still is that possibility we could stretch on up here to that bigger level of price resistance in the chart certainly could not rule that out at the moment take a look at sklz sklz has been performing pretty well in this consolidation a lot of back and forth in here but you'll notice that we're tightening up that that little choppiness right here the last oh three four days and when we popped a little bit on friday watch that carefully to see if sklz can maybe push on through to the upside here in the chart a couple areas that you might want to be keeping an eye on in that tech sector let's take a look at google Google made that strong move back to the upside, big gap up move. But notice we found that resistance and we're seeing a little bit of bearish pressure here in that chart. So kind of keep that in mind. There is that possibility. Remember, we've got Google being challenged by governments around the world in antitrust right now. So watch that carefully. Possibly a gap fill in that chart possible pullback so watch that in google take a look um, at amd amd made that big strong move up here to the upside we're trying to test this high here in the chart you'll want to watch that carefully if it pushes on through then we're golden if we pull back here um, then we've got that worry of a potential triple top here in that chart so watch that one carefully um, i like ibm here too ibm has just been running hard had a nice little resting consolidation popped on friday trying to push on through you can see if that pushes on up we'd be looking at some resistance levels on higher here ibm breaking through this major area of price resistance this thing has been stuck underneath this level for years and now has that possibility i'm going to go to a weekly chart here you can see breaking this major downtrend in any kind of rest or pullback here on the weekly could set up that opportunity that IBM could continue to move on higher here. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning, wishing you all the very, very best.